Among thousands of languages, American Sign Language is one of several hundred visual spatial languages. Historically misunderstood, deaf people and their languages are increasingly recognized for their contributions to the human experience. Historically, a number of philosophers have posed questions attempting to understand the nature of human intellect and what makes humans distinctly different than other animals. The answer to this has been found in language, which has been equated to speech. The perception that human intelligence equated with speech and language expressed in speech led to the perception of signed languages as being inferior and not on par as a true human language. That persisted over a great many years, hundreds. And in fact, these attitudes have been internalized within the community for a great deal of time so that signed languages were not used openly in public. And really, this continued until the 1960s with the research of Stokey, who found that it was indeed a language that had principles and patterns equivalent to any language. And this was a groundbreaking moment, a watershed moment for cultural recognition, linguistic recognition, which grew from then. And the community has become much more open with that change in perception and the use of their language. Earlier thoughts in spoken language was that, oh, don't expose a child to two languages because they'll cause language contamination. Other views that were very common, don't expose children to two languages because you're going to cause language delay. And even to this day, there's a fear that multiple language exposure is somehow going to harm the child. And, you know, the finding is very surprising. Children who are exposed to multiple languages actually are not delayed. They are not confused. They hit each of their classic language milestones in each of the languages on the same maturational timetable. The human brain actually is empowered and develops with agility when it's getting two languages at the same time. At Gallaudet University, the Brain and Language Lab for Neuroimaging uses state-of-the-art brain imaging to learn about how visual language contributes to brain development. One of the things we do in this laboratory is we use modern brain imaging equipment to be able to watch children's development over time and to see the types of information that their brains are most sensitive to and when in human development. We now understand certain secrets of human language that we never knew before. Language is not limited to speech and sound, and these are discoveries that derived from studies of the human brain and behavior in parallel. If we only studied speech, we would think, oh, it must be sound that's important. But by studying speech in a very different modality, namely sign, through converging evidence, we're able to see what is core. The human brain is highly sensitive to very specific, lovely, undulating patterns that are in human language, and that's what's key, and that's what's universal among all languages. Working with top people in ASL education, Dawn Signpress believes ASL is a huge benefit to all babies. Dawn Signpress, DSP, has produced quality ASL material for over 35 years. We started printing coloring books for children, and then we had great success with ASL instructional and interpreting materials. Now, we are refocusing on teaching more people about ASL and its benefits for babies and children. For deaf babies, ASL is their primary language. And for hearing babies, just imagine, parents can communicate with their babies before they can talk. Dawn Sign Press has been there from the beginning of ASL's rise in popularity. ASL has been around for 200 years, and sign language as long as history. But its recognition as a language is pretty recent. Deaf researchers became a big part in the 60s and 70s, and later became leaders in different fields. The latest findings in research related to babies learning ASL is what the community has known all along. The world is ready for ASL. With the inspiration and lead of a large network of top researchers and professionals, Dawn Sign Press will continue to offer quality American Sign Language videos and books. I can't wait to see what Gallaudet discovers about ASL next.
Those new discoveries, plus technology, means we'll be sharing ASL in ways we can't imagine yet. Dawn Sign Press is committed to a future where ASL is available to everyone. With a new series using classic fairy tales in ASL, Dawn Sign Press hopes to bring people together in a fun way that educates. Well, the universe is an amazing place, and ASL has a perfect role, because everyone can learn signs. And that means all babies, as young as six months old, can sign ASL and communicate. And Dawn Sign Press will be there to make sure that ASL is available to everyone. ASL can contribute to the future. When people are connected, things are brighter. For more information, visit www.dawnsign.com.